Hi, good morning to all. I am Kushit Begum, Assistant Professor, Department of Microbiology, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangol. Today we are we all are discuss about microbial physiology. Topic is nutritional requirement of microorganism. Introduction. All living organism require food and energy for proper growth and development. Microorganism vary significantly in terms of uh, the source chemical form and the amount of essential elements and the need. Uh, some uh, some example of these essential nutrients are carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Um, mineral nutri nutrients. The microbial nutrients can be classified into two types: macronutrients or micronutrients. It is also known as trace elements on the basis of their amount of required. Macronutrients. The microbial cells contain water according for some 80 to 90 percent of their total weight. The water is always the major essential nutrient in quantitative terms. The solid, the solid matter of cells contain other macro elements such as carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, potassium, magnesium, sodium, calcium and iron in addition to oxygen and hydrogen for their growth. About 95% of cellular dry weight of microbial cell is uh, accounted for only 6 macro elements such that oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. Carbon assumes great importance as the main constituents of all organism cell material. Carbon dioxide is the most oxidized form of carbon. Uh, some micro, uh, microbes have the ability to synthesize all their cellular compounds using a single organic carbon source. They also need other complex carbon containing components uh, which they ca cannot synthesize. These components are called growth factors and vitamins. Sulfur and nitrogen are take, taken up by most organisms. It reduces with the cell and utilizes in other biosynthetic processes. The sulfur and nitrogen requirement of most organisms can also be made with organic nutrients such as amino acids. A few microorganisms are capable of reducing elemental nitrogen and amino ammonia and these processes of nitrogen assimilation is known as biological nitrogen fixation. Most of the microorganisms need uh, molecular oxygen for respiration. The oxygen serves as terminal uh, electron acceptor and such organisms are referred as the obligate arrows. Uh, there, there are a few organisms which do not use molecular oxygen as terminal electron acceptor. These microbes are called obligate anaerobes. Uh, arrows uh, which can grow in the absence of oxygen are called facultative anaerobes. And the anaerobes which can grow in the presence of oxygen are referred as facultative anaerobes. Micronutrients the microorganisms do not use only macro elements but also other like uh, cobalt, copper, manganese, molybdenum, nickel, selenium, uh, vanadium and zinc which are required by all microorganisms. These elements are often referred to as minor nutrition or trace elements. There are metal playing the, the role of the such catalyst and many of them are play the structural role in the various enzymes. Some microorganisms need additional specific mineral nutrition. For example, di diatoms and some uh, uh, micro uh, algae require silica supplied as silicate to uh, impregnate their cell walls. Growth factor. Uh, besides uh, minerals nutrition, the microorganisms need some organic compound. Most of the microorganisms are capable of synthesizing these organic compounds from simple carbon resources. Other microorganisms cannot the need supply from outside of their proper growth and development. Organic nutrients of this type of are known as collectively as growth factor. 
it can be um, categorized into three groups amino acids purines and pyrimidines on the basis of chemical structure and the metabolite uh, function growth factor fulfills specific need in biosynthesis of certain molecules they are needed in very small amount and nutritional types of microorganism all organism requires energy source and the electron for growth a part of uh, carbon hydrogen and oxygen carbon source autotrophs use the uh, carbon dioxide or biosynthetic carbon sources uh, heterotroph use redu reduced organic molecule from other organism energy source phototroph use light uh, for their energy source chemotroph obtain energy for ox oxidation of chemical compounds electron source Lithotrophs use reduced inorganic substances as electron source. Uh, organ organotrophs use electron from organic compounds. Microbes can be classified based on carbon energy and the electron. Uh, photolithotrophic autotroph or photolitho autotrophs. Example: algae, cyanobacteria, purple and green sulfur bacteria. Photo organo heterotroph. Example: purple and green non-sulfur bacteria. Chemolytho autotrophs. Example: sulfur oxidizing bacteria, hydrogen bacteria, nitrifying bacteria, iron oxidizing bacteria. Chemo organo heterotrophs. Protozoa, fungi, and non-photosynthetic bacteria, pathogens. Uh, types of microbes based on nutrition. Autotroph. It use carbon carbon dioxide as main compound. Many microbes are photosynthetic and autotrophs. It use light as energy source. Some autotrophs oxidize inorganic molecules and it derives energy from electron transfer. Example: photoautotrophs, chemoautotrophs, heterotrophs. It it use reduced organic molecule as carbon source. Glycolytic pathway produce um, carbon for their biosynthesis and it releases energy ATP to NADP. Example: saprophytic, symbiotic, and parasitic bacteria. Autotrophs nutrition. It contains of organic material formation from inorganic raw material with the help of energy. Example: chemo autotrophs, photo autotrophs, heterotrophic nutrition nutri nutri nutrients. It use uh, ready-made organic nutrition and does not require energy. Example: saprophytic, symbiotic, parasitic. Uh, photo autotrophs. They are uh, versatile in nature. They are photosynthetically. It can be cocci, bacilli, and spirilia shaped. They have two types of pigment: bacterial chlorophyll. It includes purple sulfur bacteria. Example: Thiophidia rosea, Rhodopseudomonas. Uh, Chlorovium chlorophyll. It also known as bacterial pheophyll. It includes green sulfur bacteria. Example: Chlorovium. Uh, Lymphicula, chemoautotrophs. It use inorganic raw material for synthesis of organic food. It require energy for the oxidation or inorganic substances. Nitrifying bacteria, nitrosomes, nitrococcus, nitrobacter, bacter, nitrocytosis, uh, sulfur oxidizing bacteria, uh, bag, uh, bagiota, uh, cellulose, sulfur bacteria. Thio bacillus, thio oxidase, uh, iron bacteria. It convert ferrous compound to ferric compound. Uh, ferro bacillus, ferro oxidase, saprophytic bacteria. It is free living anaerobic microorganism. It obtains food from remaining organic substances. It is secrete uh, digestive enzyme with the uh, breakdown of complex insoluble substances into a uh, simple soluble compo component. Uh, they they are useful or harmful they can spoil of food items and denitrification of soil it may be present in animal excreta fallen leaves vegetables jam jelly plant and animal product anaerobic oxidation of carbohydrate fermentation anaerobic oxidation of protein putri putrification anaerobic oxidation of organic compound decay Parasitic bacteria. 
these parasites uh, bacteria lives in contact with the other bacteria or host it requires organic matter to grow under maintenance it has several modification to overcome barrier of defense system of host it can release various components that affects the host system connective tissue break by allergy uh, allergen uh, cell wall breakdown by cellulose killing host phagocyte leucosidin uh, prevent blood clotting streptokinase these compounds may be useful or harmful for host parasitic bacteria may or may not cause disease it is release two types of toxin endotoxin and exotoxin that break down host cell thank you